okay so here i have added some of the properties for this student uh, boolean pro uh, for this boolean node here this is the student but here what i have added inside that i have added the checkbox that means one checkbox uh, checkbox will open and inside this checkbox you can click once you click that means a uh, true and once you are not clicking that means it's a false okay so here uh, this is the checkbox property that it has present inside our granite ui components coral and the foundation that means this entire path is present inside our leaves folder okay this is the thing after that here we have a text so which text you want to print in front of your checkbox so i just want this student name so for that you have we have to use this property that is text okay after that here uh, like when somebody try to select maybe he is a student so he will select uh, this checkbox so that time this value will be stored somewhere so for that we have to define the variable okay so here by using this name property uh, we are defining this student name okay and how we can define the student name so this is the declaration we have to use the dot and the slash here okay at the last uh, if you want to by default you want to uh, you want to give the value as a true then you can just simply use this checks property that is this is the property that is checks and here the type of this property is a boolean okay and it's except only true and the false you can write here true otherwise you can write here false okay so this is the thing after that here what i have given here well what does it mean by the well okay so consider okay now like here you see like here if you want to create any container so right now what i'm creating i'm creating a container now consider now you have one text field it's a second and it's a third one okay here this the container is only for the three text field okay but in case if some additional text field is adding here so how we can increase this size okay we have to increase the manually yeah we have to increase the height and as well as the width manually okay but here we have one container that is well okay so when you are using the well container it will automatically shrink and the collapse so when we have only the text field one text field so it will automatically collapse and when you have a more than one text field so it will automatically shrink okay so it will automatically expand so this is the thing for that we will use this well container so it will automatically shrink and collapse okay it will expand automatically so like here this is the well and after that inside the well this is just only the node okay but when we have to add the out of the box property that am has already provided then for that we have to simply use this links uh, column resource type and all the property it has present inside this well so that's why i have given this path okay this is the path that i have given and inside this path what i have done what i have created i have created one item maybe inside this well we have a more than one text field okay so that's why here i have read, i have created one items node okay and after that inside this node inside this item node i have created one multi field what does it mean by the multi field now so now consider now you have a more than one field okay so like consider this is the text field okay this one is our text field now this text field you want to use more than once okay so the thing is we have to create only once we don't need to be create multiple times okay uh, we have to create only once and we have to use we can use everywhere so the thing is we have to use only once we have to create this text field once okay and this is a text field you can use multiple times so this is a text field you can now you can use multiple times so the thing is we have to create only once and now this text field we can use everywhere or multiple times so now i'll show you so here you see this is the mobile uh, this is a node that i have make i have made as a multi field see this is the property that i have added and this property it has present inside our form okay this is the text field it has present inside our form okay here i have used the field uh, field label and after that inside this so when i'm clicking here inside this i have added one field this is most important so whenever you are using a multi field inside this node we have to add something okay otherwise your sq dialog won't available okay so we have to add some of the thing inside this multi field node 
okay so here i have added the field now here i have used the text field inside this multi field i have used the text field now you can create a number of times this text field this is the text field now you can create some number of times okay so here uh, this is the name that i have uses we knows that so whenever somebody try to add some information this information will stored inside this mobile variable and this is the field that i have uses okay so now just go there and just try to see okay go inside the demo and we just have to open it once we okay once we when inside this we have to configure it so now here you see now inside this what we have here i have uh, first name it has created last name and this one is our student so here you can just select it this is nothing but the check box if it is a student then you can just simply uh, check you can just simply select the check box and if it is false then we don't need to select it and this one is your well so now here you see if i try to add here this well will increase automatically see see it has adjusting it has adjusting himself automatically itself automatically so this is the thing okay and here this one is our multi field this one is nothing but our multi field we have added this multi field and uh, inside this multi field what we have added this text field so that's why this text field is coming okay this is the text field it has coming multiple time now you can create this text field n number of time why because you have added this text field inside the multi field so that's why they are giving the option to create a mul uh, text field number of times so this is the thing now if i try to add some of the things like here i am adding a samsung okay so this is the mobile so i am just adding a mobile so how it can create where it can where it can store so just come here we knows that our actual information is stored inside the content folder okay so just search the content folder here the content folder has you can just go inside the demo us en and here we have our our hello world components yeah this is the hello world component we have and after that here you see here all the node it has created separately okay so and it okay uh, that multi field that means all the node it has created separately and just storing this value see first of all it has storing the samsung later it has storing the apple and at the last it has storing the xiaomi okay xiaomi so all these things it has creating a separate node and it has storing why these things happening why it has storing separately because of here we have added one property okay inside this multi field we have added one property that is composite okay so when you have written the composite equals to true all this node will create separately otherwise if you are writing here false then all this node will not create separately only one array will create and all the stuff whatever the here we have a samsung later that apple and xiaomi all these things stored inside only one variable now i'll show you you just have to write here false otherwise you can just simply remove this so instead of remove i'm just writing here false okay and just save the changes okay so once i have saved the changes you can just simply now you can just come here try to add some information like this is the information now i'm just writing it here i'm just writing another name okay you can just simply save the changes now we have saved the changes now come at the down you can just try to refresh this one okay so once you have refreshed see right now we don't have any uh, okay it doesn't have any created any nodes okay so all this node see where it has stored inside your mobile and here you see all this value it has stored only in the one variable okay that is mobile in this variable all of these things are stored so why it has stored in this variable only because of this is the field and whatever you are adding inside this text field all this information where it will store inside this variable why because of we have created already no so it has stored inside this mobile okay so the, that's why all the variables so all this data it has storing only inside this variable okay so this is the thing guys thank you